Atlas, the publisher of the ever-growing Persona franchise has registered a bunch of domains related to the Persona series. Keep in mind, companies register domains and trademarks all the time that they never actually act on. Example, Sony's glove controller for PS4. However, the series is continuing to grow with its fifth installment shipping 1.5 units on PS4, and that's a huge number for this once niche RPG series. The series quickly gained traction after the release of Persona 3 on PS2. Ever since then, we've gotten a handful of remakes and spin-offs. Because I'm such a fanboy of Persona, I wanted to go through the list of domains and give my thoughts on what each domain Atlas registered could be. PQ2 Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth released exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS. It was also the first game in the Persona series to make its way to a Nintendo platform. The game was more along the lines of an Etrian Odyssey title, and offered intense turn-based combat with charming dialogue and funny situations. Watching the Persona 3 characters meet the Persona 4 characters was an incredible fan service. Actually, basically the whole game is pretty much a big pile of fan service. Needless to say, I'd love a sequel. If the series continues forward as a Nintendo exclusive, I'd rather the next installment make its way to Switch rather than 3DS. Or maybe I'll get lucky and be able to play it on my Vita. I want them trophies. Atlas also recently trademarked Persona 8, Persona 9, and Persona 10. I'm not surprised. Persona 5 recently became the series' fastest selling game when it sold nearly 3,040 copies at retail in Japan. The game has been critically acclaimed on both sides of the ocean. With that being said, it's obvious why Atlas is looking this far in the future. We can assume assume and hope that the Persona series will continue to grow and expand in different ways. I want as much spin-offs, remakes, and sequels as possible. How about you? Next up, they registered P5AG. Persona has had two awesome fighting games by the name of Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. They both released last generation on the PS3 and Xbox 360 and were received pretty well. I assume this domain P5AG has something to do with that spin-off series. If I had to guess, I would say Persona 5 Arena Golden, although that doesn't have much of a ring to it. One thing I love about this series is it includes characters from all the past games, so hopefully we'll get to see Persona 4 and 3 characters fighting against the new Persona 5 characters. Teddy vs Morgana? Hell yes! Next up, P5R. This one confuses me. What could the R stand for in this abbreviation? One thing that comes to mind was that the very first Persona entry was titled Revelations Persona. This could have something to do with this, maybe? I know it's a long shot, but Persona 5 Revelations sounds like a great title for another spin-off series. What type of game could it be though? Hack and Slash? Relationship Sim? Leave a comment letting me know which type of game you want it to be. P5U, another one that could potentially stand for another spin-off title. Persona 5 Universe? No. Persona 5 Ultimax? Doubt it. My hopes and dreams is that this is an abbreviation for a PlayStation Vita or Switch port of Persona 5. I think as many people as possible should get their hands on Persona 5. And with this version, maybe we could get some bonus content included, similar to Marie from Persona 4 Golden. And finally, we have some registrations involving the Dance series, P3D, P5D, and Persona Dance. This one's pretty obvious. Persona 4 Dancing All Night released exclusively on the PlayStation Vita and was also commonly known as Persona 4 Dance or P4D. Persona 4 Dancing All Night had its own unique story that featured the lovable cast of Persona 4, so if we could get two more Persona dancing titles with unique stories and the casts of those games, I would be insanely excited. I'd love for this spin-off series to get more entries too. I reviewed Persona 4 Golden Dancing All Night on PlayStation Vita, and I loved it. Well that's all I got, what do you think though? Are my guesses as good as yours? Do you have any clue what P5U could stand for? Leave all your thoughts in the comments, I'm Brett Medlock, I will talk to you guys later.